you all know what happens when you drop something, it falls. But the question we pose here today is, what happens when you spin something and drop it? First, first we have a clip of the ball being dropped straight down. What do you think will happen if you drop a ball with backspin? Will it, A, just fall straight down again, B, curve back inwards, or C, curve out? As we can see from the clip, the correct answer is C, the ball goes out. But why is that? As the ball is falling through the air and spinning, it takes some of the air with it around. And that air applies a force to the ball this way. But as we know from Newton's third law, for every force there's an equal and opposite force. So the ball is applied, applies a force this way, causing the ball to move this way. Wind can also affect where the ball will land, but in this case there was no wind. This phenomenon is known as the Magnus effect. So why does this matter? Well, there are three main sports in which it matters. There's soccer, there's tennis, and the sport golf, which is possibly the best one. So in tennis, you can hit with either backspin or topspin, and topspin creates the ball, makes it go forward, which makes it dip down faster. When you hit with backspin, it slices and it goes, it just kind of like floats. In soccer, it's the same thing. You can generate side spin to keep the ball, to like curve the ball. You can bend it, and then in golf, the ball, like, all the dimples in the ball also help keep the air flowing so that the ball just keeps going further. Dear, oh, oh, oh.